the abalone, a type of marine sea snail found in the gastropod class, inhabits the coastal waters of every continent except the Atlantic coast and Caribbean. This wide-ranging mollusk lives among algae-covered rocks among the rocky intertidal zone and is also found among the boulder rocks associated with kelp forests. Abalones require cool temperatures to survive. The cool waters of the northern Pacific off the coast of California suit them perfectly. In this environment, abalone feed on bull kelp and other algae and bacterium found on rocky substrates. The abalone are broadcast spawners, able to release both egg and sperm into the water. Remarkably, abalone are quite long-lived, reaching ages of 37 years or more. As such a beautiful marine creature, the abalone has for centuries been prized as a delicacy and culinary luxury by many cultures. Restaurateurs will pay top dollar for just a few ounces of this acclaimed seafood snack. Apart from consumption, abalone are harvested for their exquisite and unique iridescent shell. This shell is collected and sold into the global luxuries market for use as jewelry, buttons, and inlay for decorative furniture, among other high-end merchandise. However, such popularity on the market has made the abalone extremely vulnerable to overharvest. Though most marine invertebrates are not endangered due to their high reproductive rates, broad distribution, and high tolerance levels, the abalone remains in peril. Overharvest by humans is just one of the factors contributing to the decline of abalone population. Acidification of the world's oceans reduces the amount of carbonate ions, which are essential in producing and maintaining the abalone's calcium carbonate skeletons. Researchers at the University of Sydney's School of Medical and Biological Sciences predict that in just 200 years, abalone will go extinct at the current rate of carbon dioxide production. This is particularly distressing, as abalone are used as a main protein source for many indigenous populations. Garnering support to preserve existing abalone populations has been extremely difficult due to lack of scientific data. This issue lies with the public's disinterest in protecting abalone and their preference of protecting the much cuter and charismatic megafauna, such as the animals displayed. This reality, combined with the natural predation and destruction of habitat, have put, ha have put abalone in an extremely dire situation. However, with the establishment of the marine protected areas and the prohibition of the harvest in the United States, their populations are rising. Since the 1970s and 80s, larger abalone have been noted in the designated marine protected areas since the establishment. The continuation and proliferation of the MPAs and reduction of carbon emissions will be the only hope for this marine creature on the brink of extinction. Thank you for viewing.